on the road? Uh, they're definitely going to be a, a solid team. I know that uh, they had success in the past. Uh, they've been doing real well in the Big Ten, so they're going to be a team that's going to be able to pitch it. They're going to be able to uh, get the clutch hit, and they're going to be able to play some defense. So going into it, we just have to uh, go back to the fundamentals, keep on working on our pitching game, hitting spots, and uh, scoring runs, getting that uh, timely hit. For you, last time out, obviously not the results you had in mind. Just talk about trying to bounce back from that on Sunday. Uh, obviously, uh, last Sunday was a little bit rough. Uh, going back to the drawing board and my bullpen, working on locating my fastball down at the knees and trying to get ground outs early in the count. All right. So, uh, how you how you feeling about uh, you know what happened this last week? With uh, you got a game rained out halfway through. Must have been pretty crazy. Uh, it was definitely different. Uh, mm -hmm. I saw the grounds crew going over, looking like they're going to put the tarp on, but there was no rain, so then I figured maybe it missed us. And then before you knew it, uh, the director came and said, "Hey, lightning too close. We got to we got to go inside." And went inside, and before you knew it, it was pouring out, and the game got canceled. We never got the tarp on. An all-field turf surface like Illinois has, um, you know, as a pitcher, you're working off a, a dirt mound. Does, does that impact, you know, sometimes when you have to go field a ball, like your footing and such? I mean, if it's white, it's definitely going to be slippery. I mean, I've seen guys slide into third base and slide all the way to the fence, but just like any other bump play or PFP that you have to feel as a pitch, you got to get your feet underneath you, uh, get the ball, set your feet, and throw it first. How important is it for this team right now to do the little things right? It seems like of late it's it's been the little – the little things, the little plays that maybe haven't gone your guys' way that lead to you know crooked number innings. Yeah, I definitely say it. The, the great teams are able to do the little things. They're able to get that bunt. They're able to get the 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 hit when the guy's on third. The pitcher's able to make that pitch to get the double play. And obviously, we just got to keep on going at it in practice and keep on improving day in and day out. What kind of uh, not really not really not to put this uh, not just for all the pitchers on this team, but. For you specifically, you know, getting a, getting a start against Illinois, what do you think you got to do? Get some wins. I mean, first first thing I have to do is locate my two seam fastball. I need to keep it down the zone. Last weekend I got it up, didn't have much movement on the ball, and I be, need to be able to throw a one other pitch, if not two other pitches. So I need to be able to locate my off speed and also locate my my fastball, so I have two three good pitches in the zone. Second time heading back to your home state, uh, you know, this uh, this season. I looked at the Illinois roster. Tons of guys from the state of Illinois on their team. Have you have you have you know you know some of those guys? Uh, I mean, I know pretty much half of that team. I thought so. I've played with or played against. Uh, they got a good team, a good program, and it's going to be fun competing against all those kids that I know pretty well. Were they in the mix for your services as well? Uh, they were. Yeah, uh, I knew competed against a lot of them. Like I said, so for the most part, yeah. Do you have any? Uh, you know, personal connection to Purdue before you came here? Did you have any family influence? Or? Uh, none at all. None no, at all? Nope. Did you get, uh, what did your coaches say about Purdue and, and you're being recruited? Uh, they really didn't know. They they were expect they, they were expecting me to go to other places. When I told them I committed to Purdue, they just kind of surprised for them. So, yeah. what you uh, what were you expecting when you came in here and you were looking forward to playing in Big Ten games? And um, I'm the competition is pretty much exactly what I was expecting. We're facing good pitching. Uh, Expecting to win a few more games, but I mean it'll come over time. Uh, we still got a long season left. What do you think about? Obviously, not the kind of success you guys want this year. Uh, what, do you, what do you think you guys have to do to improve, and what do you think you got to do personally? Uh, well, I think we got to just start doing. Me included, we got to start start doing the little things. Uh, we got to limit the walks, uh, put the ball in play a lot more, and uh, two out uh, hits are big for us, so we got to start getting the job done with two outs, not just when there's a running, runner in scoring position with uh, less than two. We got to do it with two. So that's pretty much the little things we got to do to get W's. What do you think, uh, you know, you got to do, what do you, what do you think you can do in your career here? What kind of goals do you have? Uh, I mean, my expectations are high, but it's pretty much just help the team out as much as I can, get runs across, put the ball in play, and whatever I can do to help win games. My goals. After playing third base uh, on Tuesday, that's the fourth defensive position you've been at. Um, I'm guessing catcher is probably where you feel most comfortable. Is that, is that true? Uh, yeah, catcher is definitely where I'm most comfortable. But when I get in the field, really, I've played everywhere in the field throughout my life. So when I get out there, it's kind of just like going back to high school and little league. and It's not as hard as I thought it would be. But.
I'll get used to it. All right, well, depending on where you're at this weekend, I suppose we'll see, but how does the turf field impact the catcher most? Uh, it actually helps out a lot because when you get those balls in the dirt, it takes true bounces so you know exactly where it's going to be. So for, from my standpoint, I don't know about the infielders, but it makes my, my job a lot easier. What have been your impressions of Jack Picciotti so far as a freshman? Well, he's really stepped up for us. Um, you know, he's a guy that plays the game hard. Um, you know, just a great work ethic and, and, and a, just a, a fighting attitude. You know, early in the season, he was in our lineup. Uh, he was out of the lineup probably for a short while. Uh, and then when he got his, if you want to call it a second chance, uh, he's done nothing but just grab a hold of it and, and his run with it. So, you know, he's developed into our starting catcher. He's developed into our three-hole hitter. Probably right now one of our more consistent hitters. Um, you know, he can, um, he can go the opposite field on the line and, and hard on the ground. Um, you know, he's got some power. You know, he, he obviously hit a home run. Uh, I think our only home run here in this ballpark. So he's got some pull side pop. And I think that'll keep coming more and more. With young guys that have a little bit of power, you usually don't start seeing it until their sophomore year. But, um, yeah, just a hard worker and uh, just a guy that we have a lot of trust in. So what did you think of him when you were recruiting him? Did you have a lot of the same thoughts? You observed he was a hard worker? And... Yeah, all, yeah, all of that. We knew we were going to get some intangibles with him and then also a, a pretty good left-handed hitting catcher. Um, you know, he's, he's athletic enough where he can play the outfield and he can play. He's played some second base through uh, high school and summer ball. We put him at third base at Indiana State. Um, and he could do some of that. He just hasn't had the reps with us here as much. But, um, you know, very versatile. Um, so we knew we were going to get that. But just someone that was going to be, uh, you know, really everything that we've, that we've seen to date so far. Um, but for him to work, you know, his way into the lineup and be our three hole here as a freshman, I think says a lot about him. I think he's got a pretty high ceiling in his career. I do, yeah. I mean, you know, he's he's not going to be the biggest. You know, he's not a Kevin Pilecki where he's 6'2"-ish. But, um, you know, again, I think he's going to be a great college player. And if he has a chance to, to, to move on, you know, that, that might be something, you know, even after his senior year, maybe not after his junior year. But, um, you know, he's going to be in the lineup, you know, and, and steady in the lineup, I think, for, for many years. All right. That's good. Just the challenges Illinois presents this weekend. Just what are the what are they bringing to the table? Yeah, I think you know Illinois. Um, they they run a lot. Uh, they play small ball, so they're going to bunt and do some of those things and move runners. They've got a, a little bit of an older team where they've had uh, you know a couple guys drafted that came back, uh, which is obviously beneficial for them. And uh, they'll put a, a Friday night uh, you know guy out there right now. Uh, Johnson, I don't know if he's uh, he's been on Friday, but they may they may move him around a little bit. But um, you know they they've got some some solid pitchers. Um, it's a ballpark where, you know, if the wind is blowing out, um, you know, it could be very hitter friendly. Um, but I think it's going to be a cooler temperature, so I don't know, you know, if it was really warm and when it warms up, the ball flies there. So maybe not so much this weekend, but um, no, they'll be, they'll be a good team. Their shortstop is very good fielding uh, shortstop, so their defense will be good, especially on the turf. And then they use their speed on that turf, I think, pretty well. The roads, uh, I know it's a small sample size, but the road for you guys in Big Ten play, you guys have to have some confidence there. Um, just talk about going on the road for the, for another time here. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I feel good about us going into the weekend, even though we haven't played particularly great leading up to it. But, um, you know, I just think the chances with, uh, you know, Schreiber and Raymer bouncing back are going to be pretty good. Uh, you know, Minch starting us off on Friday, I think, will give us a chance to win. So we've got to, we know what we need to do. We need to score some runs and, and give our, our, our pitching and defense, uh, you know, a little bit of margin for error. Um, hopefully score early in the ball game too, but and, and put a little pressure on Illinois. But, um, you know, I think teams are going to be very similar, and I think it's going to come down to who, you know, who plays better on that given day. Lately, it's, it's kind of come down to the little things with this group, and, and winning teams do the, the winning things you know, all the time. Does you kind of have that feeling with this team that they just need to consistently do the little things? No, absolutely. I mean, the little things are, you know, they add up in bunches, and especially when you're not scoring a lot of runs or, you know, when your pitchers are, um, you know, getting in trouble, uh, maybe giving free, uh, you know, multiple free bases in an inning. So, you know, it is the little things. Uh, and sometimes it's just a matter of a 1-1 one, one pitch. We leave the zone, and instead of it being 2-1 in a hitter's count, now we're sitting 1-2, and it's a pitcher's count. Those are some of the little things that don't necessarily show up on the box score that we've got to do a better job at. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's uh, you know, 
we've talked to the guys often about it, and you know, we've really got to just break it down to some of those simple things. And uh, you know, I expect to start seeing a little bit more consistency. And you know, we've got some young guys in the lineup. Every now and then, it shows up with them, but it's you know, with the older guys, I think they they know what's ahead of them, and they I think they know what they need to do. And just your expectations for Brad on Sunday, obviously bouncing back from the way last Sunday went. Yeah, and Shribe's, you know, got to come in and, and throw strikes and really stay down in the zone, but get ahead of hitters and um, keep his pitch count down, but I think really staying down in the zone is going to be important.